Eddie. Oh, hey. Look at Jimmy, you. How are you. Last time I saw you, by the way, uh, you, you, you and your wife just had another baby. So now you have two kids. Now, how old are two. they now? So I have. Uh, we have Iris, who's four, and Luke, who is two. Jeez. Um, and and, and where, uh, where have you been for the last few months? Uh, do you know, we've been really lucky. We've been, uh, fortunately, everyone's uh, remained healthy. And we, yeah. we, until I just started shooting again, we were in the countryside, uh, which was oh, wonderful. Beautiful. There was that little space for the kids to play. Um, we basically, we sort of became like an animal sanctuary uh, while we were there, uh, which was <laughs> A lot of people um, have done wonderful. this. I, I have um, a lot of so, friends that have done this. Like, did you get like, did you get, don't, did you get chickens? I mean, we are basically a parody of lockdown. We do have we do have chickens. We had um, uh, like a, we have five chickens who my daughter named. They're called um, Belinda, Sally Hennypenny, Blanket, Flower, and Henry. And they came, they arrived and they had come from. They were sort of battery chickens, so they didn't look that that well. But we kind of nurtured them to health. And I spent most of lockdown sort of running into other people's gardens, trying to sort of retrieve chickens that were causing havoc. Yeah. Um, Dude, my wife wild. took great satisfaction from it because she um, she basically on day one kind of just bought me a drill and gave me a drill and kind of said, here, learn how to use that, build me a chicken hutch. And so I built a chicken hutch, which is like a triumphant. You built it like, yourself? I, I, I did build it. I mean, I, it, it was kind of flat packed, so I should have, and I, and I succeeded in, in kind of the bit where the air was meant to come in. Um, I, I got a bit wrong, so I ended up having to drill holes around it. But I, I genuinely, I, the, the amount of pride having built a chicken hutch gave me was sort of overwhelming. I, I, I just have pride because I own a drill. I've never used I it, but I own it. I go, I know where I, it I is. Agree. I can tell you exactly where it is. I think I have to charge <laughs> it up before I use it. But the fact that I own it, I go, if you ever need me to drill anything, honey, she's like, I'm good. I've got it. And the second you get into drilling, it's just like, a, it's like the most satisfying thing. You want to drill world. everything. I, just wanted, I was just sort of walking around drilling random holes in random walls just because <laughs> it gave me some odd pleasure. Yeah. Uh, did, did the chickens, uh, do they lay eggs? The, the chickens, they, do you know what? They started off not being that keen for laying eggs. They were kind of molting and, and, and not that happy. And gradually as they kind of, they fed well, they, they ended up laying tons of eggs, which is great, except for the fact that I loathe eggs. I kind of hate eggs. Oh, and and so, so I would sort of have to carry these eggs in in the morning, <laughs> sort of not really wanting to, but doing that thing you do with your children. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it away. <laughs> We also we were we were um, we were adopted by two stray cats um, during lockdown. As in, these two very beautiful black cats just came and started purring at our door, and um, and so um, my again my daughter named them uh, one she called Catty Redmane, and then uh, the other one who had slightly spiky ears and looked a bit terrifying. She called Scary Catty Redmane. So Scary <laughs> Catty Redmane and Catty Redmane. Then ended up, of course, coming into the house and everything, which is all great, except for I'm deeply allergic to cats. And so, so the sort of cat uh, allergy, egg, oh. animal sanctuary thing was wonderful in theory, but uh, slightly stressful in reality. Dad of the year. Uh, I'll give you props for that. I could not go near a cat. I, I, I'm allergic to cats, too. Are you really? Yeah. There you go, Jimmy. Yeah. Cats. We should be roommates. We <laughs> should. So you just started a, a production on Fantastic Beasts. Uh, yeah. And yeah. how's so everything had, going there? We, well, we had done a day of shooting uh, before um, COVID-19 really hit the UK proper. So we started on a Friday and then on the Sunday night, it all we were all told to, to go home. And, um, and then just a few weeks ago, we started again. And it's a different world. Uh, but we, we're so lucky to be back in work and... Um, and it's interesting. It's kind of like film crews are amazing people and they're very adaptable people. And so we have, there's a lot of testing. Um, there is, um, you know, we're in bubbles and we're all masked, but it's been, it's been kind of, we, to begin with, I thought, how is this going to be? And it's ended up being actually kind of great. So it's nice to be back at working. I feel very lucky. Uh, you come on our show normally to talk about Fantastic Beasts and, but always it's so secretive. Uh, yeah. You're not even allowed very to tell me what it's about, or but you showed me a trick or a move, or you know before. Can you tell us? Can you tell us something about this one? And, and, do you know what? Genuinely, I'm not being like a, a sycophantic, but one of the like joys of promoting the Fantastic Beast movie is getting to come and and 
force you to do some ridiculous dance move. It did cross my mind. I can't tell you anything about the new film, otherwise I'll, you know, someone will get furious. But there is a moment which, which, which I've been sort of working on and hoping will remain in the film in which I have been you know, trying to find some sort of dinky little thing that, that I can teach you to add. And so, I mean, that I, can't, I couldn't do it now, but I'm hoping that come November, We'll have another. We can add one more move to our. We should go dancing one night and just, just beast those fantastic beasts. Deal. Moves out I will do that with you. Virtual floor. handshake on that. Yeah. Or elbow bump. Uh, uh, yeah, I would totally elbow. do that with you. I will go dancing with you, whatever. That's the, that's the best. Uh, I want to talk about the trial of the Chicago Seven. Um, can you stick around? And we talk about that. I would love that. Man. Awesome. More with Eddie Redmayne, everybody. I get the job done. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on.